The owners of Club Q say it's not about the place, but it's about the people. And now the site of the deadly shooting in Colorado Springs will be no more. The owners say they'll leave the location and open a new place for the LGBT community to call home. Good evening, I'm Michael Spencer. And I'm Karen Lee. Thanks for being with us. They say the decision came with the victims in mind. Five people died in the shootings last November. Those victims include customers and staff at the club. Your reporter, Olivia Young, tonight talks to survivors about this planned move. The historic satellite hotel will be the site of the new Club Q, this time known simply as the Q. It's been nearly a year since a gunman took the lives of five people at LGBTQ nightclub Club Q. It, it feels on one hand like this happened yesterday and on the other hand it feels like it happened a lifetime ago. There's days where everything still feels really surreal. In that time, survivors have been split on where and if the club should reopen. Immediately after the shooting, we had hundreds of messages coming in from around the country encouraging us to stay strong, to reopen, um, to hold our ground and, and not let hate win. While some called for a reopening at the same site, Ashton Gamblin, who was shot nine times while working at the club, disagrees. Our friends died there. Community blood was spilled there. Nobody wants to party and dance where their friends died. It's because we've listened to the varying opinions over the past year that we've decided to take a new approach. That's why club leadership ultimately decided to reopen inside the satellite hotel, where rebranded club The Q will be a lounge environment and a safe space for drag performances. We will stand strong with our drag community. We will stand strong with our transgender community and the queue will be a safe hub for all stripes of the rainbow. I'm glad that it's not in the same location, but there's been so much contention and strife that we just don't even want to see it at all. Gamblin says she'll attend memorials for victims, but won't be visiting the queue due to ongoing tensions with leadership. Anderson hopes the new location will mend that strife and unify the community. We hope that this can be a bridge for everybody and bring everybody back together. A permanent memorial is still in the works at the old Club Q location. The club plans to begin construction on the memorial soon. In Colorado Springs, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First. And the